What's up, gang? It's Ken Zerk, Ken Zilli, and Zika Milli in the Villain Villain Trilla gang. I can't even do it. It's like, dude, you're not understanding this. You're not understanding this. I recorded this right here two times already. This is my third time right here. This is my third time. I've already recorded episode three, but here I am going back to episode two and re-recording it. I dropped these on Mondays. It is Sunday right now. It is Sunday 11 morning, 11 a.m. Sunday morning. I want to have this out tomorrow. I don't know if I will, but I want to. I'm gonna do my best. Y'all rocking with the green screen though? Yeah, y'all gonna see it before uh, before the first, but y'all gonna see this before I first introduce the green screen. So y'all rocking with the green screen? Like, come on, it's kind of fire, it's kind of fire. <clears throat> you must kill someone if you want to leave. My mind froze and my breath caught it. My mind froze and my breath caught in my throat as I thought about that. I could feel a paralyzing fear slowly making its way to my body, dominating every last nerve. The air hung heavy on me, pressing down like a weight around my neck. It took everything I had just to endure that weight. All right, we're in chapter one, fellas. To survive daily lives. Whereas every I always messed that part up. For as heavy as that air felt, all it took to pierce it was her sharp word. And? So, what are we going to do now? Hey. Just stand around glaring at each other? Her pointed comment was directed at everyone in the room. It helped pull us all back to reality. We're right! She's right! Listen to me! Sometimes, even if you're nervous or afraid, you just have to step forward! <laughs> to forget such a simple fact, I can't forgive myself, I'm so ashamed! You hear me? Please! Someone hit me! I can't forgive myself! Somebody punish me! Please! Punish me! I want to be punished! Huh? Jesus. If you have time to yell about it, you have time to do something about it. However... Perhaps. But what is the mission exactly? Stupid... Idiot! To look for a way out, duh! What the? And we totally need to find whoever, whoever was controlling that stupid bear to beat the hell out of him. But, but? But before we do that, maybe we should take a look at the handbook. It's probably best to check out the school regulations Monokuma mentioned before doing anything else. This is fine. True. If we stumble around with no clue what the rules are, something like that might happen again. Crap. All right. Fine, so let's then... let's hurry up and check out that stupid rules already. Alright, I'm gonna I'm gonna say this right here. I had my theories in the and I had my theories, right? You know, like little thoughts I had, you know, connections I'm making. And I'm just gonna reiterate them. Some of them have been answered already, but I'm still gonna reiterate them, you know, for like, you know, just, just for thinking sake. After turning on my e handbook, the first thing that appeared was my name. So like Monokuma said. The owner's name showed up front and center. Then from the main menu that popped up, I selected the school regulations icon. An itemized list appeared on screen. It was the school regulations. In other words, the rules being imposed on us all. Students may reside within the school. Leaving campus is an, accept an unacceptable use of time. Night timers from 10 p.m. to 7 a.m. Some areas are off limits at night, so please exercise caution. Okay, so, you know, okay, right here. We lit, we quite literally, we can go out at night. So, somebody could creep up on us while we sleeping. Like, they could, like, like that, while we sleep, while we nap, and while we, while, while we rest. Sleeping anywhere other than the dormitory will be seen as sleeping in class and punished accordingly. Now, that, 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 that was another thing I wanted to think about, right? Sleeping other than other than um the dormitory, does that mean like, does that mean the actual dorm rooms, or can I like sleep in the dormitory building? Like if I'm knocked out in the hallway, like if I'm sleeping in the hallway, would would that be okay? Would that be would that be against the rules? And another thing, if like if I like if we was in class and I got into a fight and I knocked somebody out or somebody knocked me out. That would never happen. I knock somebody out and they would sleep. Would they would they be breaking the rules? Cause it's not like they just taking a nap, like they got put in a nap. 
With minimal restrictions, you are free to explore Hope's Peak Academy at your discretion. Nice. Violence against Monokuma is strictly prohibited as is destruction of surveillance cameras. We can't destroy surveillance cameras, but it didn't say we can't obstruct them. So if we find some dang cheese, or you know, like we find some cheese or a dang action figure blocking a camera, we can't, we can't say it's against the rules. Anyone who kills a fellow student becomes black and will graduate, unless they're discovered. So basically don't get caught. Additional school regulations may be added as necessary. Feeling a slight dizziness, I raised my face up from the screen. As I looked around, I saw the same stormy expression on everyone's faces. Stop fucking around! This is bull crap! What the hell kind of rules are these? I'm not gonna let them control me! <laughs> well then, why don't you wander around the school without a care in the world and see what happens? Personally, I would love to see what happens when somebody breaks one of the rules. However... But if he got punished like we saw before, I don't think there'd be a respawn waiting for him. Ah, stop eating your hand! That's not food! Ooh, chubby. Yo. I. Ever since I was a kid, I grew up with my older brother pounding this into my head. When a man makes a promise, he has to keep it, even if it kills him. And? So what? What? I've made a ton of promises that I still have to keep. That's so what? Piece of shit! So I can't afford to die in here. <sighs> None of that made sense to me. But you're saying you'll follow the regulations, is that it? That's true. Huh? Oh, well, yeah, I guess you're right. Uh... Hey, um, I have a question. For regulation number six, what do you think it means exactly? Anyone who kills a fellow student and becomes black and will graduate, unless they are discovered. You're talking about the second half, right? Where it says unless they're discovered? I mean, it's pretty self-explanatory. Right. Don't get caught. I was wondering about that myself. Hmm. It's saying that if you want to graduate, you have to kill someone without anyone finding out it was you. Oh, look at Big Smarty Pants over here speaking the obvious. In a room full of retards, you really must think you're smart, huh, Mr. Average Guy? Goodness gracious. I'm no ultimate genius, but even I knew that. Come on, you're not smart. Well, why, why do we have to do that? I don't see any reason to worry about it. Just worry about following the rules as they've been explained to us. Such ignorance. Frankly, I don't want to hear anything from someone who waits for others to decide what to do for them. <laughs> so don't jab at me. Give me a break. Or like a full-on stab. Mm. Well, for now, let's just forget that silly junk about murders or whatever. Okay. Now that we know the rules, let's start exploring the school. Mm. True. Mm. We need to find out where exactly we are. Is there any way out? What about food and supplies? You understand? There are tons of questions we need to answer! Let's do it! Dang straight! Okay, let's start looking around! Hm. I'll be going alone. You want to be different so bad. Off yourself. What? What? That's, that's stupid! <clears throat> that's pretty stupid, don't you think? Hm. Someone here might already have been might started thinking about murdering one of us. Are you saying we should stand around and with them in our midst and make it that much easier for them? Hold on a second. W wait, hold on a second. That would never... What? Don't bother saying it couldn't happen. You can't deny the possibility. I'm, I'm kind of with him on that. Like, if you think nobody would kill, you're, you're, pretty, you're pretty stupid. Pretty stupid. That's why you all seized up with fear when that graduation rule was made clear. <laughs> Am I wrong? You're not wrong, but you're not smart either. Uh, um... But... Hmm. So I'm simply acting in accordance with what I think is best for me. Just hold on. Hold on, like hell I'm gonna let you run off and do whatever you want. Why not? Let bro go. What? Out of my way, Plankton. What? What, what, what the freak is that supposed to mean? Such ignorance. One tiny bit of Plankton drifting across the sea. So minuscule, so insignificant. It couldn't possibly have any kind of influence on the boundless ocean. 
You think you're so cool, dude. Let's see how insignificant and minuscule this plankton is when I shoot you, dude. You're fucking dead. I'ma kill you! Stop, stop, stop. We shouldn't fight, alright? Let's not fight. What? What the frick you say? Some kind of goody goody little punk? You wanna throw down? Who do you think you are talking to me like that? Think you're my freaking dad or something? N no, I wasn't. You son of hey, screw you, man! Dang. Wham! He punched Makoto. And Makoto flew back in the heat. I didn't fly back. Makoto flew back. That was like something out of a comic book. He didn't even see the punch coming. It was like right there in his face. One second he was standing there, next second he was soaring through the air. Now that he thinks about it, maybe he'd kind of forgotten the kind of people he was trapped here with. His common sense just had stopped functioning, being around all these ultimates had blown his fuses. So, I guess he shouldn't be surprised it led to something like this. But he just lost track of that sense of reality. That was his last thought as his consciousness started to fade, before it cut out completely. That boy got BOW! Knocked out! Woo! When he opened his eyes again, what he saw was... Nigga! Huh? Wh where am I? As if it become part of my daily routine, I woke up in yet another room I'd never seen before. Okay, so where am I now? Yeah, shut up, shut up, shut up. I know, I know, I know, I know, buddy, I know. You don't gotta tell me. You don't gotta tell me. You ain't gotta lie to kick it, man. You ain't gotta lie. You ain't gotta lie. You ain't gotta lie to kick it. All right, right here. This must be the key to the room. My name's written on the keychain, which means it's mine, right? I better hang on to it for now. All right. I got a bed. I didn't see anything particularly strange about the bed. Yep, yep. It's some kind of lint roller. Guess we're supposed to clean up after ourselves. All right, right here. It's a notepad. I guess the school must have given one to each of us. Yeah, yeah. Look up in here. A toolkit. It must be brand new. It's still in a shrink wrap. I don't really need it, so I'll leave it here. All right. Some kind of metal plate mounted here. Is it to keep us trapped in? Look at the camera. Surveillance camera. I hate the idea of being watched. We're not allowed to mess with the cameras. Hey, and they said we can't mess with them, so we can't break them. Trash can, everyday trash can, no hidden door. Oh, fast coin. These are that monitors, bro likes to pop up on. This would appear to be the bathroom. Rattle, rattle. Huh, it's not opening. I guess it's locked. Piece of paper hanging up on a wall, which says. Announcement from Headmaster Monokuma. Each room's lock has been designed to completely protect against tampering or lockpicking. Remaking an individual's room key is quite troublesome, so please make sure not to lose yours. Your room comes furnished with a shower, but please note that the water is turned off at nighttime. Also, the bathrooms and the girls' rooms include a lock of their own. Finally, we prepared a small gift for each of you. For the girls, a sewing kit. And for the boys, a tool kit. For the, the sewing kit includes a map of the body's vital organs. One stab will do the job, girls. For the boys, we believe a strong blow to the head with any of the tools should be ample. Don't think, just feel, and let's all enjoy ourselves. I crumbled up the sheet of paper and threw it in the trash. I don't know why you threw that away. That's we're probably gonna. It's probably gonna be useful. Uh, here to be the bathroom. Rattle, rattle. It's no boom. It's locked. That's weird because only the only the bathrooms are locked. I mean, only the girls' bathrooms are locked. For some reason, ours is locked. All right, so I guess we're leaving. Looks like this door leads outside. It's locked. So some of the rooms have locks, huh? Oh yes, you have a key though. So get out the freaking room. I think I'm starting to understand. This room must be. Sleeping anywhere but the dormitory, yeah. This must be my assigned dorm room. Someone must have carried me here after I fell unconscious. So that answers that question. The next question is, what's everyone else up to right now? There's only one way to find out, and that's to get out of here. All right, let's get up out of here, gang. Leave the area. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. 
Let's get up out of her. I rushed out of the room to meet up with all the others. But there was someone waiting for me there. It was like something out of an old TV show. Wham! Ah! Ah! Oh. Hello. Sayaka? Hello. 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 That boy Makoto. He feeling loco. Put him in a choco. If I see Makoto. Now I'm just playing. The boy just saying. Yellow hair. Super Saiyan. <laughs> I'm just spraying. Empty out the clip. Empty out the clip. Then I finna dip. While I'm eating chips. Eating off a fish. With french fries. I don't despise. All guys. I despise lies. I despise flies. But I'm feeling too fly. Flying through the air. Soaring through the sky. I'm right there. Feeling so divine. Hold on. Oh my good. I lost it. I lost it. I lost it. I lost. Oh my. I lost my. I lost my thought. I lost my thought. I'm on the block. I'm finna plot. Finna plot. Up a scheme to get some rice. In my jeans. Trying to crack. I'm selling crack. I'm selling crack. I'm smoking smack. No, I am not. Cause that's bad. Drugs are bad. I'm feeling fab. I'm feeling fab. You lust. You lust. Finna pull up with some dust. Finna, finna leave them in the dust. Finna pull up, then I bust. Bust these bullets. I finna pull it. I'm trying to cool it. Heat it down, cool it. I said, heat it up, cool it. Don't give a duck, ooh. Don't give a duck, cool it. Don't give a duck, cool it. Sorry. Are you okay? <laughs> what the heck am I. What do I be talking about? I'm fine. I hope you're okay. I'm perfectly fine, sweetheart. Sorry about that. She had an embarrassed smile on her face. I stood up slowly. Are you okay, Saika? Are you hurt? <laughs> <laughs> you make it sound worse than it is. I'm completely fine. I know how I look, but I've actually built some pretty good muscle jumping up and down on stage. Jumping up and down, you say? I might need to test that. That's good then. But are you okay? You know, from when Mondo hit you? That's true. Makoto got knocked out right there in front of everyone. He kind of revealed his lack of cool from the beginning. Makoto. Makoto. Oh, uh, I'm fine. Nothing wrong here. That's good. Oh, that's good. I was kind of worried. Thanks. By the way, what are you doing here? Uh, um. Actually, I came to get you. You came to get me? Well, if you're feeling better, I was hoping you could come to the dining hall. The dining hall. You see? After you got knocked up, everyone decided to go and do their own thing. We decided it would be more effective if we split up to investigate. So we agreed to get together later and talk about what we found out. So does that mean it's almost time to get back together? If that's what's going on, then of course I'll go with you. That's good. Good. I'll go on ahead and meet you at the dining hall then. Oh dear lord, I get, oh my goodness, I get to talk about how terrible these controller controls are. Uh, where's the dining hall? Here it is, here's the dining hall. Uh, 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 oh, hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Actually, can I go other places? Alright, your bum, I'm gonna shoot you. You making me mad. Hey, babe. This must be the dormitory dining hall. Um, it looks pretty clean, so that's good. Uh, I guess that's not really important right now, with us being prisoners here and all. Yeah, that's true. Nobody was there waiting for us. We didn't really have much of a choice. We don't really have much of a choice. I guess we should just wait here for now. <laughs> okay, let's just wait here. Stop reading my mind! Stop! Stop doing that! Huh? You heard that? Like I said, I'm psychic. I'm sick of you. <laughs> Come on, I'm just kidding. Seriously, I just have an amazing intuition. Is it really just intuition? No, it isn't. She's a mind reader. 
Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know about the um the, the, the purple words and all of that. All right, so we're just gonna look around for a bit. Just look at some stuff. Not gonna wander around. I was wondering. They said like we can't just break these windows and and, and dip up out of here. That's hard to side. Hey, um. By the way, Makoto. Huh? What is it? Um. Well, it's just. I know this is kind of continuing the self-introduction thing, but I wanted to ask you something. What did you want to ask me? Hmm. Mikado, did you happen to go to Black Root Junior High? Were you maybe in class two? Yeah, actually I was. Ah. I knew it! I went there too! I was in class four though, do you remember me? I do remember. Even back in middle school, she was a celebrity with all kinds of ultimates surrounding her. How could I forget? Almost as surprising as her question was, that she remembered me. We never even talked to each other, but somehow she still knew who I was. Hey, um... Hey, are you okay? Oh yeah, I'm just surprised as all. I wouldn't have thought you'd remember me. <laughs> we went to the same school for three years, of course I remember. Well, that's true. But there were a lot of students in our grade, right? Plus, I've never been the type of person to really stand out. I'm average at everything, and my hobbies are totally normal. Even normal would call me boring. What are you talking about? You're so strange. What you mean by that? <laughs> she started giggling even louder. That somehow mysterious smile of hers made my heart grow calm. She is so cute. Her smile was the nicest smile I'd ever seen. That's good. Anyway, I'm really glad that I know somebody here. <sighs> talking to you has made me feel a lot better about all this. You're amazing, Makoto. No, I'm really not. <laughs> Don't flatter me. I'm not the compared to all you ultimates, you know? I'm not the compared to y'all. <laughs> but you're the one who helped me find my courage again. Not any of those ultimate students. Thank you for saying that. Okay. And to thank you for helping me out, I'm gonna become your ultimate assistant. What type of assistant are we... What type of assistant are we talking here? What type of assistance are we... What, what, what assistance you got for me? You under the table like come on what we got what we, what we got popping off and going on like come on huh my assistant <laughs> yep i'm your assistant now i'm gonna help you out as much as i can so let's get out of here together when she says things like that it it just pumps me up which is nice but still everyone else is still late besides that i don't even know what time it is right now there must be a clock around here somewhere yep check the clock um, so what time is it right now? What? 7 o'clock at night? Uh, um... You were unconscious for a pretty long time. I, I see. Without being able to look out the window, I've lost all sense of time. If I have to stay in this place for too long, I might just go crazy. Hey, um... I can't believe no one's here yet. But I'm sure they'll start showing up soon. Almost like he timed it, talk it through the dining hall. Almost like he timed it, talk it through the dining hall doors right as open. Almost like he timed it, talk it through the. Almost like he timed it, talk it through open the dining hall doors right as Sayaka said that. Hey! Ah, Makoto, Sayaka, so you two got here first, huh? How unfortunate. Too bad. I was sure I beat everyone here. I guess that just means I don't have enough fighting spirit yet. Got it. Well, I won't give up. Next time, I swear I'll win no matter what it takes. Justice shall always prevail. <laughs> That's a bit much, don't you think? Soon after that, everyone else came strolling in. <laughs> after a few minutes, everyone had gathered in a dining hall. Okay, it looks like everyone's here. Time to start the meeting! Let's all go around and share what we found out during our respective investigations. The sooner we find out what's going on, the sooner we get out of here. Hold on a sec. What are you talking about? What's wrong? Hmm. What about, uh, what's her name? You know that silver-haired girl? <gasps> uh, oh yeah, Kyoko. Hmm. What about her? Aww. She's not here. <gasps> what? I took another look around the dining hall. Sure enough, she was nowhere to be seen. Um... I wonder where she went. Has anyone seen her? 
But everyone just shook their heads. Huh? Wait, so nobody's seen her? Why isn't Kyoko showing up yet? Could it be because she got clapped up and smacked up? Oh my lord, she's over with. She's dead. She's done. She's done for. Yes, indeed. Stabbing, strangling, bludgeoning, crushing, hacking, drowning, igniting. How you do it doesn't matter. You must kill if you want to leave. It's as simple as that. <laughs> the rest is up to you. Give it all to achieve the best possible outcome in the worst possible way. Is it possible? Was she really clapped like that? No, no, no. I'm just overthinking. Darn it, Kyoko. You're really gonna be late like this on your first day of school? Not only is she late, she didn't tell anyone she would be late. A most unbecoming personality trait. Come on. You're being a real jerk right now, you know that? Well, whatever, what do you want me to do? Punctuality is everything. You hear me? Now then. I declare the first session of Hope Speak Academy briefing meetings has begun! It has begun! Um... Mikado, actually, first of all, I've talked enough. Maybe we should listen to what everyone else has to say. Okay, let's do that. <laughs> <laughs> you know? Huh, what's up? <laughs> I feel like I really have become your personal assistant, don't you agree? You say you're my personal assistant, but I'm sitting here at a table playing a game and I don't- I have not received head yet. So, as far as I know, you're doing a very lackluster job. <laughs> I may not be the best assistant in the world, but I'll give it everything I've got. No, no, you've already done so much with my assistant. Ha <laughs> Lying. Okay, so since you're in the dark about all of this, let me lay out what's been going on. Everyone split up to investigate different parts of the building, you but... See. Byakuya and Taka went off on their own, and so did Kyoko. Leon, Hero, Junko, 10 goes for them. Um, uh, I want to start see. from the end and... Let's see. If I'm being honest, I can't quite say we acted as one. Rather, we did nothing as one. We spent the entire time in the gym. Most unfortunate. Honestly, we are not exactly the types to go running around a school like a gaggle of junior detectives. What the hell's wrong with you? What the heck were you thinking? Just sitting around the gym the whole time. <laughs> well, it's not like any of you invited me along. Nobody said, hey, you could come with us. I blame you for leaving me out. It's your fault. What the? Shut up. If you wanted to go with someone, you should have just said something stupid. <laughs> Forget it. Like I'd want to go anywhere with a dirty slut like you. <laughs> Yo, slut. Your mind is as thin as your body. You make me sick to my stomach. Are you for real? I don't even know how to react. How can you say something so awkward to someone you just met? Hey, come on. All right, guys. Everybody calm down, okay? All of this stress is bad for your skin. Yeah, it sounds like you two are so close now that you're fighting like sisters. That is not what's going on, Saika. Mm. We thought maybe we could find some way to communicate with the outside, so we looked. So we went looking all over. Sorry. But we didn't find a thing, sorry. Yo. I went back to the main hall thinking maybe we could do something about that giant hunk of metal. What? But even with soccer around me both, it wouldn't budge. We hit it with decks and chairs and nothing. Dude, shit. It was hard as, like, metal. Yes, indeed. Well, yes, it is metal. <sighs> anyway, sucks. if we're going to get out of here, it's not going to be through there. I feel like I, should, I could just cry. But no, I have to hold it in. I have to manage my hydration. So then. I shall tell you what happened next. It has nothing to do with communicating with the outside world, but it's still worth worrying about. In both the school and dorm areas, there was a set of stairs leading up to another floor. But... But there were gates there and we couldn't find any way to open them, so we couldn't check it out. <sighs> In other words, at this point, we are only able to search the first floor. However... We can further assume that there is potentially something above the second floor as well. And if that's the case, then there is at least a chance it may lead to a way out. Um, right. Shut up! <laughs> we went all up and down the school double checking the windows and the hallways and classes. We wanted to see if we can get any of those metal plates to come on. And what happened was... Hmm. Nothing, not a dang thing. We couldn't even get a single one to buzz even a little bit. What should I do? There wasn't any hope for escape of escape anywhere. The school really has been totally cut off. 
This is bad. It sucks. Bad, bad, this bad, bad, sucks. bad, bad. This sucks. This sucks, 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 sucks. What are we gonna do? Hey, come on. Yo, calm down. You're making me nervous. Uh, you see. I spent some time looking around the dormitory and... Listen to me! I made a discovery in a century! I found out there was exactly one room for each person! Uh, well, yeah, I kind of figured out... I kind of figured that out before anything else. Yeah. Yeah, each room... Uh, each door already has a nameplate on it, so I guess all the rooms have been assigned already. Huh. And each room key was attached to a keychain with the owner's name precision etched onto it. That confirms that the room I was in earlier is in fact my room. And plus... And Shihiro and I found out that all the rooms are totally soundproof. Um... Your next door neighbor could be screaming... Could be screaming their lungs out and you wouldn't hear a thing. <laughs> well, each room also had a private bathroom which could also lock. Hmm. But it looked like there was only locks on the bathrooms in the girls' dorm. Huh? But when I checked my bathroom door before, it definitely seemed like it was locked. That's weird, I should double check that later. Hey, come on! Okay, so they got a bunch of rooms for us already. They're assuming we're gonna be here for a while. Quiet down and listen! Well, better to have it than not! At least we won't have to worry about surviving like wild animals! <sighs> that can't be all you have to report, can Mr. Honor's student? Got it! That's all for my report! Let's move on to whoever's next! Um... You see... I wanted to try to find some clues about who's responsible for imprisoning us here. But unfortunately, I made no such discoveries. That's all for me. R really? That's it? If I'd uncovered anything, act any if I'd uncovered anything, naturally I would have more to say, but I didn't, so I don't. Right, I understand. So that's what they have to say, huh? Then I guess I'm the only one left. Talk to me, gang! Um... I went and had a look around the dining hall. I found a fridge in the back of the kitchen, and it was overflowing with all kinds of stuff. That's good. I guess we don't have to worry about food at least. What? Sure, for now, but even with all that, there are 15 of us. How long can the food last? Of course you're worried about that. <laughs> you could just eat some sesame seeds or something. Mm -hmm. Huh? What am I, a parakeet? <laughs> I don't think we have to worry about it. All the food gets restocked automatically each day. At least it's what Monokuma said. Mm -hmm. You saw him? Okay. Yeah, he came out of nowhere while I was checking the fridge. He told me that then disappeared again. He was so fast, I can't believe someone could even could have been removing him with a remote control. That's a weaponized toy that can just appear from nowhere. I can't tell if we're supposed to be afraid or not. But But was everything okay? He didn't try to like eat you or anything. <laughs> it eat her? Mm, what kind of eating are we talking about? I mean, when you say eat, what kind of eating are we talking about? Ah! Oh, you freaking weirdo. Go, go jump off a bridge. Oh. Come on, man. Hey, you bastard. What the heck, fatty? I'm like some sleazy drunk dude. Actually, not that there's any good kind of drunk dude. Hey, hey stop screwing around, all of you. Are you still asleep or something? We're prisoners here. We could die at any second. Dude, shit. She's right. We can't be making stupid jokes right now. We got to do something or... A voice cut through the noise, interrupting Mondo. You're all spending an awful lot of time yelling and carrying on. Mm -hmm. Do you really think you can afford to do so? Have none of you accepted the reality of the situation? Yo! Kyoko! Where the heck have you been? We already started the meeting without you! She didn't say a word, and so she just dropped a piece of paper on the table. Huh? What's this? It appears to be the map of... Appear it appears to be a map of Hope's Peak Academy. A map? What? What the? Where did you find this? Wow. It doesn't matter why I found it. What the heck? It does matter. You're freaking us out right now. But more important. Never mind that. What does it mean? What do you think it means? It's a map, stupid. It would seem. Just look at it. The building we're in right now is laid out precisely the same way as Hope's Peak Academy. So what you're saying is, this really is Hope's Peak Academy. It's true. Well, in terms of construction, yes. But it looks like this had a number of strange renovations done to it. Renovations. However... I don't know all the details yet. All I found out... All I found was details about the first floor. Um... But then, this really is Hope's Peak Academy. 
We need to get kidnapped and taken to some other place. So stupid. It's not even possible. This is where the country's future elite are supposed to come and learn? But, but if this really is Hope Speak Academy, where are all the other students? Yeah. Hey, come on, guys. Let's stop talking about all this, you know, negative stuff. I mean, aren't you worried? Things don't look good. Yo. Worry? What's there to be worried about? I mean, this was all planned out, right? The people in charge of Hope's Peak put all this together. <laughs> Man, if I got stressed out every time something happened like this happened, I'd have ectoplasm shooting out of my mouth. You got not shooting and giving up to keep playing. You know? Good things come to those who wait, right? So we just have to, so we just gotta chill and everything will work itself out. <laughs> What's your problem? Why are you laughing? What's so funny? <laughs> I'm just happy, that's all. It seems splitting up to investigate was a good idea after all. <sighs> Haven't you been listening? Looking around was a total waste of time. We didn't find a way out, didn't find who's behind this. We still have no idea what's going on. Oh. Huh? Is it not crystal clear to you what's going on? Are you okay with it's this? It's perfectly obvious that we have been in prison in some secret location with no way out. We couldn't say anything. We didn't want to accept that reality, but it was staring us right in the face. Mm -hmm. You didn't have to go and say that. I was trying not to think about it. No way out. We're trapped here. What are we supposed to do? <laughs> it's very simple. If you want to leave, you just have to kill. Shut Stop up. It. Don't even joke about that. Um. Everyone just calm down, please. We need to stop and think about what to do from here. Seems like... There's got to be something we can do. <laughs> All we can do is adapt. Adapt to living our lives here from now on. That's... Live here. Are you saying we should just accept it? Do you understand? A lack of adaptability is a lack of survivability. Survival is not based on who is the strongest or who is the smartest. It comes down to who can adapt. Actually... As someone who has come out on top more than once, I have a suggestion. What? Huh? What do you mean? Mm. We all understand if we are trapped here, which means we will be spending the night, however. You all remember that rule regarding nighttime, huh? 7 p at 10 p.m. to 7 a.m., sleeping anywhere but the dormitory. Let's see. So regarding this nighttime, I think we need to add a rule of our own. W what do you mean? <laughs> Going out at nighttime should be prohibited altogether. The school regulations do not actually tell us not to go out at night. I would like to make it official. <laughs> B but why? Are you okay with this? The way things are now, every time night comes, we will start to... We will start to get all worried and anxious. Mm -hmm. We will all be afraid someone will try and come kill us. Mm -hmm. What? <laughs> if we have to worry about that night after night, who knows how long it will wear us down in no time. I see. So you're suggesting we limit our activity at night as some kind of preventative measure? Indeed. However, unlike the rules, nobody can be forced to comply. We all have to agree to follow it. What can we do? I see. I see what you mean. But I think I can agree to that. It's like that little goth Lolita said. Without something like that, we're just going to self-destruct. Listen to me! On behalf of all the men here, I agree to comply. What? Hey, you can't just decide to speak for us. This is fine. So everyone is in agreement. Good. <laughs> then if you will excuse me. Huh? Huh? Where are you going? Let's see. It is almost nighttime. I want to take a shower before it arrives. I hope you are well. So goodbye. Moving with pure elegance. Celeste left the dining hall. Her behavior seemed so natural. I couldn't even imagine anyone trying to stop her. Um... So I guess it's pretty obvious where we go from here. Let's, we'll be spending the night, it looks like. Huh. Adaptability. Hmm. So Mr. Chairman, what's next? One up person already left. Uh, um, well then, what, what say we call an end to today's meeting? You understand? Like we, like she said, it's almost nighttime anyway. We can reconvene first thing tomorrow morning. Huh? Do we have to stay the night here? What can we do? Oh, we don't have any choice. We can't go for long without getting some sleep. Uh, this sucks. So we just have to give up. <sighs> That's all fine and good for today, but... What do we do tomorrow? So in the end... Our only option is to split up and look around again. Let everyone know if we find anything. Mm. Yeah, okay, let's do that. Aww. Then I guess we're done for today. Good, I'm exhausted. With heavy movements, everyone headed off to their private room. Um. Makoto, are you ready to call it a day? Yeah, let's go.
Is this really where I'll be staying for the foreseeable future? Oh, that's right. I should check the bathroom one more time before I go to bed. Only the girls' bathroom should have locks on them, right? All right, let's open it up. It's no use. It really is locked. <laughs> Bit wrong. Not locked. I'm mad. Okay, look, look. When I first recorded this, bro popped up and freaking made me jump. Like, that scared the crap out of me. I jumped back and everything. When I, second time I recorded this, I didn't jump, but it still kind of caught me, but it still kind of scared me and my heart jumped a bit, right? It didn't do anything. Like, I, I got no reaction. Like, we're no reaction. Like, I got no reaction, dude. Like, oh my goodness. Not like, holy crap. Jeez, talk about an overreaction. It's like you saw a ghost or something. What, what? Like some kind of robot bear ghost? Bro, what are you doing here? What? Makoto Naegi. This is a super duper majorly bad. So bad, it's almost magical. Ultra magical, awful, awful attack. Uh huh. And point of fact, I acknowledge that the bathroom in your room has a problem with the door frame. Wait, so the reason it won't open is because is, is it because it's locked? The door just doesn't fit? Hey, um... Didn't you see the notice? What, can't you read? The bathrooms in the good boys' room don't have locks. Yeah. I mean, a lock in a boys' bathroom is kind of pointless, don't you think? Ba -ba -ba -ba. Well, it's, it's not that pointless, I guess. But I'm not no expert on the birds and the bees and all that. Listen up! Anyways, there's a little trick to opening this particular ill-fitting door. And that's what I'm here to teach you. Okay, ready? So you just gotta turn the doorknob, then lift up while you pull. Yes, indeed. Go ahead, give it a try. Turn the doorknob and lift the door up while I pull. When I did that, the door opened without a problem. <laughs> See, it opened right up. Isn't that crazy though? Your door is the only one that doesn't fight fit, fit right right. You're supposed to be the ultimate lucky student, right? It looks like you're not lucky at all. Anyway, I suddenly don't feel like seeing your stupid face anymore. Bye! Hey, wait! Dang it. Five nights at Freddy! Fried rice and This is a school, school announcement. announcement. It, is it is now 10 p.m. As such, it is officially nighttime. Soon so the doors to the, the dining, dining hall will be locked. And, and entry at that point is strictly prohibited. Okay, okay then. then. Sweet dreams, everyone. Good night. Good night. Sleep tight. tight. Don't, Don't let the bed bugs bite. Looks like it's nighttime. We all promised we wouldn't leave our rooms now. All I can do now is try to get some sleep. While still mumbling to myself, I collapse on the bed. My eyes close almost immediately. It's not that I was ready for bed exactly. I was just, just utterly exhausted. It was as if I spent the entire day staring at a TV watching movies. Or like some kind of illustration where I'd been tossed into a made up fantastical world. Yeah, that feels about right. There's no easy way to accept the situation we've suddenly been dropped into. So this is how the curtains close on my first day at Hope Speak Academy. Soon enough, I was asleep. Would it be too much to hope that when I woke up, I realized it was all a dream? I used to read Word on Magazine, Salt and Pepper and Heavy D up in the limousine. It's kind of lame as far as endings go, but I'd be fine with that. Actually, that'd be the best ending. In any normal school, Mr. Monokuma would have been a kind teacher. But when I think about what's coming up, I'm just so full of pride and joy. Our ceremony earlier today was absolutely splendid. Thank you all very much. Remember that you're all students of Hope's Peak Academy and strive to refine your ideals. I swear to you, I will send you all off into a new tomorrow. Good, Good morning, morning everyone. everyone! It is, it is now 7 a.m. and nighttime is officially over. over. Time, time to rise and shine! Get ready, ready to, to greet another, another beautiful, beautiful day. day! 
Apparently it's morning, but thanks to the total lack of windows, there's no way to know for sure. All right, we're stopping it here. I'm eating pancakes. Let me see them pancakes. Let me see them pancakes. Cause I like pancakes. I'm munching on them pancakes. I'm brushing on them pancakes. I'm touching on them pancakes. I'm sucking on them pancakes. Bro, what am I talking about? Yeah, I know, bro. All right, let's open it up. Oh, oh 